Tell me how there's only one best People don't seem to believe up in my rap I have to go here, do this, do that I'ma do it my way, word up, screw that Cause I thought I'm supposed to do what makes me happy But I'm only happy when I get to rapping Take up, cause I'm tired of the ground I've been on it so long, I just wanna see the clouds Shit, and I've been working hard for a minute I'm really getting sick of people trying to give me limits I can do it all, no if, ands, or buts But people always hating, so it kinda makes it tough Shit, I never really thought that it would ever come to this And I be trying to make it What up YouTube, this your boy Download back with another request to reply And this one is to David Fake, Snakes and Ladders, man And this is a young man, 13 years old, out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada And you definitely let that be known that you are 13 years old and I'm gonna give you the realest talk that you need right now man age doesn't really matter my dude because I know some young dudes right now 14 15 years old that can rap better than people twice their age or produce better music than people two times three times their age I'm sure that a lot of people come to you man and say oh you're pretty good for your age man but what that really entails is you're not very good now but if you keep along this path then one day you will become a good rapper when the game doesn't really work like that man there is no set tone that's gonna give you automatic progression dude you get what you put into this game and to keep it 100 you are not good until you can actively compare your music to the best people that's out there doing it right now and say okay I'm better than this guy and that's one thing that a lot of people really get messed up like you look at somebody like Chief Keith you look at somebody like Soldier Boy be like if he's doing that and he's being successful I can be successful with what I have when you never compare yourself to the worst you always compare yourself to the best and keep pushing yourself to be as good if not better but it is a good thing that you're starting young man because I remember back when I first started to rap man it was back in the 10th grade and once I got older and started running with a team and such man the best rappers in my crew I would ask them when did you start to rap and they always be like man it was early middle school sometime so with you being about two mixtapes deep from what I've seen at this young age man you definitely got a kick start on a bunch of the competition but yet you have to grind hard man you have to get your basics down that's really the most important thing for you right now because I listen to this mixtape man there is not one song that I could point to and say that that one is dope. Overall, you are a work in progress, man. See, what I mean by getting your basics down is you gotta work on your delivery. You gotta work on your flow. You gotta work on your lyrics. Now, lyrics is a difficult thing, man, especially for you being so young because good lyrics come with pain of life. Like, when you go through some stuff, man, then the emotions take over and you can write something that people all relate to. And if you are technically good at writing, man, then you can make really, really good songs. And wish you got a lot of time before you get to that level, but you can focus on the technical aspect of the game. Now, a lot of people confuse flow and delivery thinking they're one and the same when they do go hand in hand, but they're different. Like, your flow is how you're rapping on the beat. Your delivery is how you're saying your words, pretty much if you're saying it to the point that people are feeling what you're saying instead of sounding like you're reading it. Now, how you work on these is whenever you write your lyrics, man, you memorize them joints back and forth get to the point that you can go into that booth without any paper and just recite it man and the only thing that you need to focus on while you're rapping your lyrics is how you were saying it it's gonna take a lot of repetition for you to finally get it man but after you do it but for so long then memorizing large bodies of lyrics man becomes all the more easy see here's the thing that I invented to help me out with lyrics back in say 2005 me and my friend who was a really good lyricist at the time he pretty much took me underneath his wing to help me out to get better we created lyrical boot camp in which every day we would write 16 bars and when we write these bars we recite them to each other afterwards after we memorized them. now months later my friends started to dwindle off and pretty much give up rap while I took that lyrical boot camp to the next level instead of just doing 16 bars I did full songs and doing that over the years man I definitely created a lot of good stuff I wouldn't say that I'm a great lyricist by no means but that definitely helped my progression out see the main thing you got to understand about this game man is you get 
what you put into it. The reason why there are dope young acts and stuff out there right now is because they go hard every day writing, memorizing, putting in the amount of work necessary to become good rappers and comparing themselves to the best out there and they believe that they can honestly out battle anybody. You definitely have a far ways to go man to get on such a level but day by day if you put in a lot of work man then you will gain an inch. By the end of the year that inch will turn into a mile and after some years man you will become the dope rapper that you know you can become my dude. But everybody out there, man, peep out the mixtape, man. The link in the description below. And send them a comment to tell them what you think about it, man. Keep pushing. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.